Hello, everybody, and welcome to Invisible Apartment. Uh, this is a cyberpunk, futuristic, dystopian game that is only about 30 minutes long. It's a visual novel, and I've heard that it's actually really good. It's part of a long story arc. The second one is currently in development. They just put out a prequel, but I figured since this was the first game, I would want to play this first, and it's got some really good reviews, so yeah. I'm excited to try it out, especially since it's so short. Why not? We might as well give it a shot, and it's free. It's totally free on Steam to play, so hey, I'm in. I'm in. Let's do this. Launch! We find ourselves in one of the business districts of New Jessica. Business as usual, customers are coming in during their lunch break. A well-dressed girl wearing sunglasses sits in the center of the cafe. She blends in perfectly with the crowd of office workers. With a both confident and sneaky smile on her face, she touches her coffee cup with her lips, barely reducing it by a drop. <laughs> Sorry, it's only funny to me because that's... L l I, I also drink coffee slow? Look, don't judge her. Don't judge her just because she drinks her coffee slow. Some, pe some people just don't... <sighs> I feel you, girl. I get it. Ugh, are we in yet? She whispers to herself, barely moving her lips. Man, her lips do not do much so far in the story. We are connected through the cash desk software now, preparing to connect to the central authorities server through the link to the tax office, says a voice coming from her smart glasses. She sits like a rock surrounded by chatting, laughing people. It's a busy place. For a moment there, it looks as if she's really froze to stone. Hold on, there is another user at the server. Run. Oh, oh man, choices! We get choices. Slowly exit the cafe through the main entrance. Stay where you are or flee through the kitchen and the back door. We gotta go through the kitchen. Maybe we can grab a roll. The girl stands up from the coffee table, tripping over her chair and rushes through the crowd to the kitchen. All right, here we go. Watch out. Everyone is looking her way. Excuse me. Uh, miss, uh, is everything okay? Uh, miss, um, excuse me, but the kitchen is for staff only. Uh, miss, are you looking for somebody? She rushes through the kitchen to the back door. Whoa! No, ah, uh, the door's closed. Someone open this door! What do I know you? You look real confused. You are out of time. You will get company at any moment now. The girl turns around and runs back through the cafe to the main entrance. They are right in front of you. This? No, ugh, I made a bad move. I don't accept this. What are you doing? Men in uniforms encircle the girl. I don't accept this! Oops, bad end. Restart! Alright. Oh gosh, I'm so cute and attractive, sipping at my coffee. Uh-oh, there's somebody here. Do not go through the kitchen! <laughs> um, and probably don't stare where we are either, because they, they came in and stuff went down. Slowly exit the cafe. She takes a deep breath, slowly stands up from her table and heads to the exit. What are you doing? Run away. Ugh, shut up. At her way out, she manages to smile at the waiter. He smiles back. She exits the cafe and slowly walks down the street. At first glance, it might appear as if she forgot to breathe, or maybe she's holding her breath. In the distance, we see men in dark uniforms enter the cafe where she sat just a moment ago. She turns left at the corner. It seems as if she's walking faster, then even faster. And now I'm running! Get out of my way, yo! At the park. You are safe now. Do not kill yourself, please. You have so much to live for. Meet Bunny. Sorry, we have a lot of data. Ugh, it better be worth it. Bunny just attempted to break into the servers of the Central Authority through hacking a pause, a cash desk software, which by default is permanently connected to the Central Authority's tax bureau as a way to prevent merchants from committing tax fraud. This is new Jessica. A free trade zone created around the cultural city of Old Jessica and the Central Authority. It's a buffer zone built to elevate trade with the outside world and at the same time preserve the culture of Jessica. This is the high-tech capital of a new generation, a generation set to reach to the stars. Ooh, si sipping at more coffee. It says coffee on the butt, so I know it's real. Oh, are you are you my robot voice? Oh. Oh. Whose mask? Um, I have gone through the logs from earlier. They are quite interesting. Yeah, just confirmed it. I wasn't alone on the Central Authority server. Ah, uh, correct. 
that how I've been found out? Was it an admin? Negative! The person who stumbled upon the server was indeed the reason why you were found out, but in a different way than you might think. Go on. The alarm was triggered because of the second person, but they followed your connection for some reason. There's no information on if and how the central authority proceeded with the other person. He or she disconnected before the tracking started. We are the only ones who have record of the connection of the other person before they cleaned up and disconnected. Another hacker, you say? Can this be a coincidence? There is a chance of over a million to one that you would stumble upon another hacker on the same system. Then an alarm would be triggered and the central authority would go after you and not let them in at the exact same time. Someone wanted me to be caught. Or did someone just want to reach out? Did they want to make a point? What? Oh. What? What? <laughs> what? Uh. <clears throat> what? Was this just a sick prank? There's no way of answering that at the moment. Is someone else just playing around on the servers of the Central Authority? Is someone mad or just... real good? Mm. Do we have enough data to track down the connection? We have enough to get to the first proxy through which the other hacker connected, but a remote connection is just not possible. Oh, this will take some time. Get prepared, we're going to find the next access point to the proxy through which the other hacker connected. Wow, this city's huge! I love your hair, girl. I love your hair and this this weird plasticky data bullshit on your head. It's a little Sailor Mercury, right? It's a little Sailor Mercury feeling, but different. Oh, nope, mask mask and robot are the same. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know which voice to go with now. Who's who? What makes the most sense? Also, I like that he's color-coded to our hair. Before he was blue, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe yellow, I don't know. I'm just gonna go- I'm just gonna go with the goof voice. What are you saying? You know it well, this is where you grew up. Oh, on the contrary. The suburbs where I grew up are of course different from the center. For 18 years I dreamed of escaping the dull life I lived. Well, congratulations. Did you also dream of being homeless? <laughs> Did you locate the source? I'm narrowing it down. Please remain in the current perimeter I've marked on the map. Sooner or later, I'll smash into something just looking at the map in my glasses. Yep, gonna follow my nose. Gonna eat shit, so to say. Bunny follows Mask's lead for hours. They search for proxies through which the connection was established one by one. Oh, I got it! Oh yeah, elaborate! It is strange, though. I seem to lose the track in this location. Well, how large is the area? Six blocks. Well, that could be anything. A hacked POS, router, an apartment AI? Give me a list of all the systems you can find in the perimeter. I'll go through them manually. <laughs> Seriously, that's thousands of connected systems. Match all devices with their geolocation. Give me the city's residual... Resi resi give me... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Bunny goes through a huge list of all of the devices connected to the net... To the network... That Mask could find in the area where they lost track of the connection. 2,500. 2,502? Ugh, I gotta be dehydrated. I cannot really say that I know how that feels, because I'm a robot. <laughs> are all apartments required to have a network connection? You already know the answer. They do according to city regulations. Well, I've been matching the list of connected systems you gave me with addresses, and I noticed something. Do all apartments have an entry in the city's database? Again, according to city regulations, which you should really read, they're quite fascinating. Okay, okay. Anyway, you either didn't give me the whole database, or there's one address missing. How could you know that there is an address missing? I don't. I just went through 2,500 addresses, matching them to the connected systems you gave me, and I noticed an inconsistency. The database you gave me seemed to, I don't know, skip an entry. And I see one connected device, a residential terminal without any address assigned to it. An AI like me cannot make this kind of speculative deduction. Well, let's check out apartments 2500 and 2502, see if we can find the connected device without an address near them. Soon they arrive at apartment number 2501. Oh, hello dear travelers, this is house 2501. It's uncommon to meet someone out here in the emptiness. Emptiness? A house? Uh... You are an apartment on the 42nd floor, 42nd -th floor of a high-rise building in the busy part of New Jessica. Your voice comes from the emptiness that surrounds me. It's so dark, I'm so cold. How did you find your way? 
It's already hacked badly. Yes. The AI is all messed up. Mentally ill AI that can guard this place? Well, can you get us in? I already have. <laughs> Ta-da, we're in. <laughs> I'm like imagining that I like literally just blink and I'm inside the apartment like, wow, that was efficient. Ah, uh, open the door. Oh, how did you do that? This AI is easy to hack using a direct connection. Its intelligence is almost wiped out. That is the trade-off to hacking. So now we're invisible to the outside. Bunny lays down on the couch in the middle of the room. She is exhausted from the search. Hopefully we don't die here. Huh, it's a nice couch. You should not fall asleep here. Are you listening? Hey! Hey! And she falls asleep. Lol. When she wakes up, it's already evening and nothing has changed. She's lying on a couch in the middle of an apartment, which according to any record, does not exist. Although it might be a concern for someone to stay at a place they broke into, Bunny is calm. She realizes that this place is not on the radar of the city's officials, so she doesn't expect them here. <coughs> Ugh. Does this place even have an owner? According to the records, there is no one owning this apartment. I know, I know. I mean, the person who went through the trouble of making this place all invisibable. Mm. Well, we'll backtrack the connection through the apartment's AI first thing in the morning. Run the preparations. We'll be geo-tracking. Or geo cashing, Whichever sounds more fun. I walk on the edge. A step here, a step there. I make a decision not to step into the abyss. If I step off the edge, will I drop like a rock? Or will this world forego its laws and will I fly like a bird? Wishful thinking. The only thing that excites me while I balance is that I myself make the decision to stay alive each and every moment. No one can take this away from me, and no one can influence me at that very moment. I go to the rooftop and walk on the edge to experience the freedom of choice. If I decide to make a step into thin air and end it all, then it was most certainly my, and only my, decision, however foolish it might have been. And moving on. Here we go, we got a lead. As usual, I can backtrace the connection to the next proxy. To the next proxy? I wonder for how long we'll continue like this till we hit a dead end. You are being quite pessimistic. This is not like you. Well, I've been thinking. We might have a better chance of meeting the hacker who's behind this if we just stay at the hacked apartment. That's quite dangerous. On one hand, the hacker might indeed want to use the apartment as a safe house at one point. On the other hand, it might be found by the authorities the same way that we found it. I know, it's a double-edged sword. If the authorities came marching in, we'll just pretend we're squatters who don't know nothing. The door was open, duh. The authorities are one thing, but you cannot predict the reactions of the person who is using the apartment as a proxy. You are on someone's turf, so to speak. Although you may have a romantic image of the other hacker, he might not be a giggly teen like you. Oh, shut up. Go to hell. Hell is a human construct. Should I stop the search? Oh, no. Did I ever tell you how much I like you, smart mask? I shall continue tracing the route of the connection. Please follow the map. Oh! By the way! Yeah? You will not wipe out my memory if the Central Authority finds you, right? I thought you had an escape plan. Wouldn't you just upload yourself somewhere or whatever? Please promise you will wait for the upload to finish. Okay, I promise. It's quite important to you. Is the difference between living and dying not important to humans? Well, sorry, you're one of the awakened AIs after all. Whoa, look at all these people, all up in their bubblies. This is it. The hospital? Are you sure we're at the right place? 99.7839% sure. Oh, it's better than me, even when I'm real confident. Interesting. It's a sleeper. Sleepers are people who are ill, but there isn't a cure for them at the present time. They are held in an artificial coma, and their bodies in hibernation in what is called a sleeper cell. So the connection came from this sleeper cell's computer. Now that we know that this is the next proxy, what will you do? Pretend you're a nurse? Ah, uh, I don't know, but we need to connect to it. Just a moment, I'll go through its terminal settings and, I don't know, you try accessing the hospital's network. Bunny looks around and approaches the cell's terminal. We might set off an alarm! I know, I'm prepared. Then she hears something. She takes a step back from the terminal, looks around, but doesn't see anyone. Uh-oh. 
Uh, I'm gonna quick save. No, I can't quick save! No, I can't quick save! Okay. Um. Uh. Oh no. Hack the terminal. All right, this needs to go fast. Ah, ah. As Bunny connects to the sleeper cell terminal, the person inside the sleeper cell twitches. Uh-oh, not good. <gasps> this guy, we saw this guy in the opening is like a flippy flash. No! Whoa, dog! Struggle and try to break free or scream and shout for help. I'll struggle and try to break free. Let me go! Let go! You know, without clothes, I'm all ugly. I look like a boy. I agree. Shut up. As if that's why I'm holding you. Uh-uh. Now, tell me why you were hacking the sleeper cell terminal. Uh. Tell the guy that dead people floating in tanks should not concern him, or tell him that you work here. Uh. I obviously do not work here. <laughs> Well, that's none of your business. Besides, why do you care about dead people floating in tanks? Oh, God. <laughs> He's probably related to her. They have the same hair color. I probably just said something real bad. I'm probably super screwed. They are not dead. Are you crazy? The alarm goes off. I guess I should have yelled at you. I wanted to talk to you alone, but now that the alarm went off, security will come at any moment. No, let me go! So that you can hack sleeper cell terminals and harm someone inside? Dream on. I'll wait until security comes, and then I'll hand you over to them. No! It's weird, though. Why doesn't... It... Unless quick save works without... <gasps> wait, what? Okay. It's a sleeper. Okay, so if I hit quick save, and then quick load... Oh my gosh, the quick save button does work. It just gives me no feedback to let me know that it's working. <laughs> I just clicked through so much bullshit for nothing. That's okay. It's short. It's fine. Okay. I set off an alarm. Quick save. Okay. Uh, Leave for now. Wait. I feel like I'm being watched. Mm. Why so sudden? I don't understand those mood swings. Intuition. It's better than software. I have a bad feeling. Let's return later. She leaves the room and walks past a man who's about to enter. Then she speeds up. Phew! Phew! Oh! 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 Oh. So, you're everything but the ordinary. Is there something that you don't hack? What? What? Huh? Hey! Oh god, we're back here again. <laughs> The man grabs Casey and pushes her into the apartment. You're a hacker. Kick the guy as hard as you can and run away. Uh, I feel like he wants to talk to me. I'm going to play dumb. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a little old girl doing my thing. She stops for a second as if someone splashed her face with cold water. I need it to be sure. Well, go away. Leave me alone. Not until you tell me what you've been doing at the sleeper cells. Leave! Uh, explosives will detonate. Oh, oh, the, that's mask. <clears throat> Man and mask, you guys need to change your names. Explosives will detonate in five, four, three. No, don't blow my head off. Idiot. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm not afraid to die. Uh -huh. Actually, yes, I am. Please don't hurt me, please. Right. Why the one cell? Leave! Let go of me, you stupid idiot! I'll kick you if you keep touching me! I don't want to hurt you, okay? I'm a friend. Oh yeah, sure. Honey, please let me go. I'll give you a kiss afterwards. So, so let go! The sleeper cell you were at. What's your name? Alex. Alex, let me go, and then go to hell, okay? Right. You don't seem to understand. I won't let you go until you tell me why you were the one at the cell. Bunny starts crying. 
I'm a friend, okay? Ha! You're a hacker, right? A wha- A ha- A hacker? <laughs> I'm a hacker too. I'm not an idiot. Obviously, because this is the apartment that he put her in, like... <laughs> I'm like, what? You're a hacker? Huh? No way! Bunny stops struggling. I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to talk and know what's going on. I just want to know the truth. Why are you trying to get into the Central Authority servers so badly? A Central Authority? No one is trying to get into their servers, even if I theoretically would. Stop! Quiet now. Even if I theoretically- if it th if I th right Even if it theoretically was my goal, how could you possibly know about it without working for them? What do you know about this place? What do you know about this apartment? Well, you hacked it, and now it's not visible in the city's database. It's like a black hole. What are you saying? You think that I did this? Do not trust him. I know. Be quiet for a minute. I didn't do this. I couldn't have. If I knew how to do such a thing, then all my problems would have disappeared a long time ago. I have no way of trusting you. What if you're the one who set this place up, huh? Then this might be a honeypot. Did that ever cross your mind? Uh, you want to get caught? I don't want to get caught. Of course, I don't want to go to jail, but I also need answers. What are the questions? Truth's expensive. She speaks in a calm voice. I'm tracking a connection. A hacker. The trace of the connection led me back to that sleeper cell's terminal. I wanted to follow the track from there, and that's all I'm telling you. Alex freezes. Give me the data you have. If it's true, I'll help you. If not, then you should stop with what you're doing. If someone is hacking sleeper cell terminals, then the people inside might be in danger. Are you making me your cheap informant? Are you playing a detective here? The sleeper cells aren't your business either. Besides, they're filled with dead people. They are not filled with dead people, Alex shouts at Bunny. She freezes. Don't shout at me. Me talking with you is only my decision, so let's keep that in mind. She speaks in a calm voice. Bunny looks away. Huh. I'll grab you again if you try to kick me or run away. Uh, wishful thinking. What now? I may have found some data, but I don't know who they belong to. I could perhaps make you a copy if it still exists. In the future, maybe, but I'd appreciate something in return. Maybe something you've found, too. You changed your hair. Bunny inhales and holds her breath. <gasps> How did you know that I had the pink hair duties? How did you know? A few seconds pass until she finishes processing that one sentence. Oh, yeah? Well, what color were they before? Pink. Um... <laughs> My head hurts from all this arguing, but I can still still th I can <coughs> Oh god. <coughs> I'm actually killing myself. But I can still think straight. So how did you know? I work for the Central Authority. <laughs> I knew it. Bunny turns pale. You you're insane. This is important to me. Give me the data which led you to the sleeper cell. Uh, mask Yes? What are the chances that he'll use me as evidence and we end up in jail? The odds are 27 to 1 that this is a trap. Bunny silently looks Alex in the eyes. What's your name? Bunny giggles. That's asking too much. Not part of the deal. Call me Bunny. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bunny takes a deep breath and runs outside while throwing a memory card at Alex. Just, ha! <laughs> Just, like, chuck it at him. She runs out into the street and heads toward the park. In the late evening, she sits at a bench in a public park. For hours, she looks into the distance. At night, she's still there. Mmm. Bunny, you say? Mmm. Ah. Hours fly by until it's morning. You know, I'm kind of scared and excited at the same time. Is that weird? I noticed rapid movements of your fingers. In other words, my hands are shaking, yeah. On one hand, I want to act like an action hero, but on the other, I'm scared when confronted. You promised it you would meet him again. I haven't talked to anyone in ages. Um, excusez-moi. A human. I haven't talked to a human in ages. I almost forgot what a conversation's like, and now someone's telling me he's on my side? 
During the time I spent with you, I concluded that you fear being confronted with uncomfortable truths. Ugh, you're contradicting yourself all the time. AI, logic, pfft, don't make me laugh. You are far from laughing. In fact, I believe you are almost crying. And I'm sorry if you disagree with my analysis. On one hand, you want to be part of these people, but on the other, you fear them. I am merely reacting to your current stance. I won't run away this time, so don't worry about that. Second encounter! Oh, hey, what's up, Bay? Oh, let's talk again. <sighs> Please come with me now. Bunny takes the man to the rooftop. Why are you taking risks the way you do? You're still young. You could do anything you please. Well, I haven't heard something that naive in a long time. Don't be offensive. I'm just trying to talk with you here, and you're making it hard. Okay, okay, it's not like I have any choice, you see. I want to lead a normal life, earn a decent living, be part of society, have friends again. Fear I'm slowly forgetting what that feels like. Well, why don't you live normally? Some of us just can't. I can't lead a normal life unless I win a war for it. Go on. I've been caught when I was still a teen for hacking. I was really good, though. Or so I thought. Nevertheless, I have a record. A record for hacking disqualifies you from any decent job in this society. They won't let you touch a computer. People don't trust you. Once I finish school, I realize the city wants to dissolve me and kill me. It doesn't want to kill you. Right. Anyway, I don't accept this. I don't accept this, this flesh wound, and I don't care about anything else than making it invisible. Let it disappear. The person who made an apartment disappear from the database of the central authority is deep enough in their infrastructure to help me as well. And I want my name to be clean. We live only one life. Should I accept their stupid rules? You could just leave. Uh, life doesn't exist only within the borders of this city. Should I be growing vegetables like the empty-headed fools who live in the countryside? Should I escape to that? And what's the difference? Oh, all right. I guess we vegetable growers don't know how to even use a toilet, do we? I came from the outside, from a small town. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry. In my opinion, you have an elitist point of view. No, see, I don't want to make millions. No, it's not about money. It's not about that at all. The family is of... Oh my god. Why is there so much saliva in my mouth? The families of old Jessica, Central Jessica... They all have only one truth, their dogmas. So they disqualified you from a life in New Jessica. It's their loss. Ha! Why are you here? Why are you in New Jessica near the sharks? I don't care about the same things you do. I have other goals. Uh, the cell you tried to hack the other day. My mother is the sleeper! Alright, I knew, I knew it was somebody. I knew they were connected. I knew it. She's in the tank. You've tried to mess with the terminal, which keeps my mom alive. Uh, I just want to be close to her, so that's why I'm here. I couldn't care less about a career, public life, anything like that. Of course, I'm trying to be helpful to society while I'm here. Oh, I seem to be an ice queen. Yep, I'm an ice queen. You must think I'm a spoiled brat. Please don't do anything stupid. Let's figure this out. Okay, bunny? My name's Casey. Oh. After Alex leaves, Casey falls asleep. She has a dream where she's floating. Not falling, nor progressing upwards. There's an intense light everywhere. Sunbeams make her warm, and she can't remember a single problem. A single face or obligation. Here, she feels free. It seems as if no one sees her. Life on the streets below... Be 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 bellow her continues. <laughs> People are in a rush, as always. Laughing, arguing, doing everything as usual. And then she remembers. In an instant, she begins to fall, and the sunbeams turn to chilling wind. She feels frightened. Right before she hits the ground, she opens her eyes. Her heart is beating fast. This is one of those dreams you remember vividly. Ugh, why are my best dreams the ones where I die? Maybe you wish to change. Is dreaming of death not symbolic for your desire of escape? I got nothing to escape from. Only things to escape to. I have nothing but myself. You are being pessimistic again. Ugh, let's go shopping. You mean shoplifting? Whatever you call it. Fact is, can't live off air. The man asked you not to do anything stupid for now. Alex, yes. In that dream, he reminded me of myself. But then I fell. Will he destroy all my dreams? It's a reminder of reality. Is, is, is a reminder of reality, not a good thing. You're being too philosophic. Let's go.
Are you sure? Yep. Let's make use of our time. I'll leave the ears part here just in case. Stay connected. Record everything. I don't want anyone sneaking in while we're gone. Okay. Bunny goes to a mall to hack into the POS software to get some groceries. It's pretty simple. She enters the mall, have her smart glasses do their pre-programmed thing, perform something that could be called cashless payment at the counter, and leave as fast as possible. The advancement of mobile cashless payment has created a new class of hackers who specialize in hacking payment terminals, cash desks in malls or restaurants. You don't need to give anyone any physical paper currency. Everything is digital, and where there's a digital link, there are hackers. She's still in a dreamlike state, thinking hard about the other day when she met Alex and about the events that preceded it. I need to make sense of it all. Am I getting closer to my goal, or is it drifting further away from me? Now I realize my original plan is getting old. Days become weeks, weeks become months, and now I'm afraid that the few years I'm doing this will slowly drive me into a corner. That can only be viewed as a failure. Am I even on the right track? Even though Alex is on the opposite side of the fence, he's by far the most normal and, and at the same time mysterious person I've met in a long time. Casey doesn't notice the warning messages in her smart glasses. <gasps> Men in uniforms enter the mall, and the mall's entrance closes with a beep. That's when she notices something is wrong. Her heart seems to jump five beats, but it's too late. She looks at the security agents as they approach her. She's got a confused look on her face. Is this it? Oh, such a ridiculous way to get caught as well. I'm better than this. I'm way better than this. I'm too sleek to get caught like this. I, this guy is just... Boop. 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 <laughs> He's just, like, switching toward me. Casey screams for the last time before the guards grab her and take her away. <gasps> Meet Londo. What? What? This is so weird. What? I got caught. Why did it say I screamed for the last time? Does that mean I'm dead? Did I just die? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> I got a message that you caught another one. Is that right? Yes, sir, we got one. It's a young girl. Looks like she's been behind the recent security breaches. Oh, I see. So she's been the one getting closer and closer to our databases over the last few months. Ah, <laughs> a single hacker. She's learned a lot and avoided being caught for such a long time, so we can't afford to let her out. Londo looks at Casey's medical record. He enters unknown viral disease, unclassified, high risk. This, together with some other bogus information, ensures that she's officially a sleeper. Her blood sample is infected with an artificially created virus, a product of Londo, that even when studied and analyzed by experts will keep them busy for years to come. Um, call Clement. Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Things are progressing. I have another case to report, so could you get me another sleeper cell? Uh, another high-risk one, am I right? You bitch. Uh, one of the smarter ones. Uh. Well, I'll start the preparations right away. The medical info will be updated in just a few hours after I receive the ID. Thanks. As usual, you'll receive your money in a few weeks. Londo looks at a picture of Casey. And you, of course, have a concept of sacrifice. I'm not undervaluing you. I just believe that we view sacrifice as a little different, you know? If only the world could look away for a moment. All our problems could just be taken care of. All of our problems could just, like, disappear, you know? Londo is a member of one of the families of old Jessica, the inner city's upper class. He views people like Casey as parasites, those who threaten the status quo. He's in charge of the city's information security. He's the one who makes sure that no one has access to information they shouldn't have. He, like many others from old Jessica, hold high-level positions in institutions and businesses. These are the arms of the octopus, which holds everyone in a trance. No. History books speak of information breaches that led to the demise of whole empires. There are conspiracy theories which attribute changes in government to the activity of some lone hackers. A lone hacker operating on his own, outside of any group that could be infiltrated. A highly flexible individual is the toughest enemy. Casey is one of those who didn't get caught for a long time, even after performing over a hundred hacks through POS terminals, getting closer and closer to the systems of the central authority. Over time, she peeled one layer after another, giving her access to more sensitive systems. Originally, the authorities thought that the security breaches of the last month are the work of a group of hackers, but when they analyzed Casey's smart glasses, they were amazed it had all been her work. For just a few seconds there, Casey has a dream. She feels weightless. It feels as if she's the only thing floating in the galaxy, as if she's no longer bound by Earth. Then she's back on Earth, it seems. She's like a ghost flying over people's desks in a crowded office. It's busy, filled with people. She floats above their heads. 
All of a sudden, the office is empty, and there's a flash of light coming from outside the windows. In front of the window, there's just one figure looking at her, looking at her although she's a ghost in this dream. After that, she's in space again, orbiting Earth, feeling the emptiness, but something drags her back to the surface. Now she realizes Earth has changed. There's only an abyss. Inside of it are monsters, crawling, turning, opening their mouths. They look like giant caterpillars. Do you want the future to look like this? Casey's dream ends, and something even stranger replaces it. This isn't real. I remember a few dreams where I knew I was dreaming. Why is this one so vivid? This feels like reality. <gasps> what? It's his merm! Welcome to your subconscious. What? You're not real. I, I think... Decide for yourself if I'm real or not. Am I just part of you? I've been caught. Yes. I don't remember anything afterwards. Where am I in reality? If I'm in prison, then did, did they drug me? Why are my dreams so vivid? You can't explain it on your own. There's a wall keeping you from accessing some of your memories. Someone's messing with my mind. How will I know what's true and what's not from now on? Don't worry. I will help you. But aren't you part of your dream? An illusion? First things first. You are in a sleeper cell. What? Why? What's happened to me? I, I mean, nothing's wrong with me. Or is it? I could be in a sleeper cell for years. I, I never agreed to anything. That means I should be in an artificial coma. I shouldn't be dreaming. You're welcome. Although you didn't agree to anything. Fact is, you are in a sleeper cell. I heard a conspiracy theory a long time ago, but it sounded crazy and was totally dismissed. What was the conspiracy theory? That people... That some people are put into sleeper cells by the government? Yeah, that's the crazy theory. Everyone who believes that is a nut job. There's a system in place which prevents such things. Will I be awake in a dream forever? Who are you? Wait a second, I recognize you! You're a sleeper! I visited your cell a while ago! You visited my cell because you tracked down a connection you stumbled upon in the service of the Central Authority. You thought that my cell was used as a proxy. H how do you know all that? Come on, you're smart. There's no need to be shy. I do have a mad assumption now, but how is that possible? The same way that we're not in an artificial coma, but talking in a dream. You're a hacker! The one I've encountered, but how do you do this? They've caught me and installed me as a sleeper. That's a fact. Actually, I got myself caught. Why would you? It was part of my plan. See, I had a special chip implanted which lets me stay partially awake in my cell and connected to the cell's network. You could say that I'm awake in my dreams. You're connected right to the hospital servers. And through those, I'm attempting connections to the central authority. Of course, it needs work and proxies. One of them you encountered. The apartment. The one that's not in any database. That's one of your proxies. The invisible apartment, yes. Listen, Casey, or should I say... Bunny. Uh. Casey, I didn't plan this. I'm terribly sorry you got caught. It's ironic. I was searching for someone from the outside who could help me. I didn't plan to be a sleeper for this long. But how did you plan to be released? How could you have risked this much? It's insane. Oh, I did have help outside. I did. We had a bulletproof plan, but my accomplices were caught. I see. You reached out to me, and I got myself caught, too. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Honey, we're both floating inside of tanks like olives in a jar, and it's our fault. You're not the only idiot here. <laughs> well, we're in a lot of trouble, huh? Am I right? Hey! Yep. Please don't try the same thing again. I mean, don't try to contact someone from the outside. They'll just get trapped, too. Once I show you what I found, you'll understand. The man who's behind all of this, his name is Londo. And what he does goes way beyond removing people and having them placed in sleeper cells. In fact, what the families of old Jessica are planning goes way beyond this. Casey feels a rush, as there's a lot of data being fed to her through her subconsciousness. It feels like adrenaline. Then she feels like falling. <gasps> oh, he's breaking me out! Oh, yes! Dude! Oh my god, is that the end? Oh, oh, I was like, if that's the end, that is the worst cliffhanger in the world. <laughs> okay. I didn't think I would become an idiot like you. 
<sighs> Unheard of, right? Hmm. Such a thing done by such a good citizen like you. To go against the rules, go against the sharks, defy them. I guess I'm the type who takes care of stray cats. It's Bunny and not Kitty, remember? You set the bar high, Alex. Competition would need to work hard. If by com competition you mean people who want to catch you. Um, hey. Oh, hey. It's good to be omnipresent, right? I uploaded myself just in time, so I assume that the glasses are history. Oh, I'll buy new ones. Though, they won't match the ears. If by buying you mean stealing, then that's out of the question. And the glasses matching is the last thing you should be worrying about. You know I'm labeled a terrorist now, right? At least the person they're searching for is. Who knows what they figured out? Terrorists? Oh, I guess we're both labeled terrorists, but we're safe here. Your life was too boring anyway, am I right? Hey! <laughs> if you think so. I figured it all out. The sleeper cell terminal wasn't just a proxy. I couldn't believe my mom was the one who reached out to you. Oh, did you get her out too? I know what she wants to accomplish now. She'll stay until we expose all of this. We need to help her finish executing her plan. She gave me all this information before you came for me. You work for disgusting people, Alex. I'll know very soon if they still consider me being an employee. Well, what'll you do? I'll continue as if nothing happened. What? If there's a chance of me remaining at the Central Authority as an insider, then let's use it. I don't know, that seems real dangerous. It's better than if we're both on the run. You just rest a bit more. We have a few moments before things start moving again. It's like Mom has set up this place to be a safe house for situations like this. She called this place the Invisible Apartment. Oh. The end! Let's suck face. Oh. <laughs> or let's restart. Look, we'll suck face next time. It's okay. There's no rush. No rush. It's whatever. You just, like, broke me out of a sleeper cell. Which, by the way, thanks. Thanks for that. Duh. Boop. Cool. That's part one. So there's also invisible apart- <laughs> There's also invisible apartment zero, which is like a prequel. Um, and they're currently working on the second part of the series in general, of like this story arc. So uh, yeah, I don't know when that's coming out, but this is jazz to play this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually, I enjoyed it a lot. I thought the art was really good. I think the story is interesting, so I'm curious to see uh, where it all goes. So I guess we'll uh, we'll touch on that again when the second one comes out. Hey, am I right? Hey. <laughs>